Hello, everybody, and welcome back to uh, Assassin's Creed Origins, <laughs> not Dragon Age. Oops, I tried to hit that thing, but it didn't work. Tried to hit the roof of the of the tent. Anyway, uh, welcome back to the land of too many cool side quests and not enough time. I know I don't want to. No. Okay. Okay. All right, Chocobo. Let's ride to victory. Oh, uh, by the way, it's off pretty far north. There's like two, yeah, two of these things on the way, so I'm gonna just grab those. Because it will, it does good for Senu. What? What? No! No! Stop! What? Stop! He's gonna this? throw himself into the fire! The lion's fire will cleanse no! You. Our king! <gasps> our lion! Our god! No, 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 no! What, 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 what? Fear How? For Flavius, his order is his God! His order is God, oh boy. Is this really? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, people are just. No, and I can't stop. There's nothing I could, I could just like I could hit them, but they die. Holy cow! This orb, I don't know. There's a reason the assassins keep it hidden and don't activate it. You know, like the pieces of Eden. I mean, I don't usually get this far in the games to know what like the pieces of Eden, what they're doing with them. But I know they only ever do bad things. Also, this next quest is a level 35 quest, and I'm only a baby level 34, so we'll see how that goes, since I can't even beat General Agrippa. I was nearly able to beat him, but he had so much damage, so if he had had a little bit less damage, it would have been doable. I'm not saying it needs to be less, I'm saying I am not ready. Oh wow, I almost just walked right into that. I was like, la di da, following the road. Of course, I may have to follow that road, but you know. It, this is, it is what it is. It's like, I, guys, I need this stick over here. I don't care so much about your camp. I, uh, I want the stick. Ooh, it's over the water. I don't know if this actually helps send him out at all, but it makes me feel better. We're definitely wandering into territory, though, where it's like a level 34, 38 area. I looked ahead on the map. Uh, we're going to the Agora, man. This is all very familiar because of Odyssey. Can never reach them. All right, there was one other one. What do you got up there? Spoilers. Ooh, that's actually a really cool picture. It would be. Oh, and that's the bird over there. That's our bird. Whoa, that's. I mean, that was actually pretty cool. Oh shoot, this is over here by a quest. Oh, not gonna happen. Just uh, not. I think I... the only way, actually, if I took the road, would be to go past that. So many quests, so little time. You can't just, like... I, I feel like you can't just give me, like, something so sh like such a big deal as what I've been involved with now. Now that the orb is out, it's like... I can't really... like, it's one of those things where, like, where Bayek, like, took his friend to get buried. It's like, you could have just, like, given him to the people outside. Like, I, I understand... But, like, I don't know. Whoa. Hang on, I can get some XP for this. Maybe? No? Oh. I must have already... I thought one of the question marks Whoa. was, like, gonna be that area. No. Like, you found this area. I understand that the death rituals are really super important in, e in Egypt. But there's, there's, there's also that, that thing where you can prevent more deaths by moving on. Whoa! Very cool looking. Like, if we'd have gotten to get Flavius then and there, 
I don't know. I don't even know what he did. What did he? What exactly did he do in the Oracle of Apollo? Are you j what? We are. Where are oh, freak? Are we? We're not in Roman lands. What? Are we? Is this not still Egypt? Like maybe Roman occupied Egypt? How big? I, I can't. I want to like zoom out and see the whole thing. I don't know. Where? What? What? Whoa. Okay, I wasn't I wasn't gonna stop, but man, you can't just say Oracle of Apollo and not get me interested. And where's the stupid Yeah. Oh, are all the Romans just chilling, just having a great old day? Oh yeah, our country's going insane too, but no, we're just gonna sit here worshiping. It's fine. I can talk bad about the Romans because I play a Greek in the next game. <laughs> the Romans are just copycats. They're just copycats. World map updated. Can I? Okay, good. I'm going to at this place. Ooh. It prickles with divine power. Usually, the oracle is drawing me to her. I can feel it. Usually, his mouth moves, but maybe he's talking to himself, like inside his head. Okay, so this is something that they act. This is one of those side quests that they like are actively wanting you to do. Hold up. How shall I sing on these brightly this is very familiar, like an Odyssey. Light bringing Phoebus, I am but your lyre. Hear my oath, give me your song. I shudder with your fire. I have felt your presence in my vision, Siegel. Apollo spoke of you. The king Are you being controlled? He killed the white heart. For it was the huntress Huntress. Bewitched, pale and beautiful, with a halo of gold. Apollo bade Gaia cradle the king's sorrow. A lake of tears high above the plains. The sun god drove his fist into the mountain, took his beloved inside, and spake. None shall seek you. None but the eagle. He will soar above the five cities with the halo of the huntress in his beak. Why do you call me eagle? Yours is the sacred relic, eagle. Find it. And expand Okay, your I'm intrigued. I'm trying. The lake of tears high in the mountains. Oops. <sighs> Press the wrong one again. The lake of tears high in the mountains. Apollo means me to find this halo of the I like that uh Bayek and a lot of people. Oh, okay. I was just up there, sort of. I like that Bayek and a lot of other people in this world. Like, the Greek and Egyptian ideologies live very, very much side by side. So, like, his wife says Hades, and he says Amun. I think, I think Amun's the death god, you know? So, but, like, it all, like, coincides, and, like... They have very similar gods that do similar things, so it's like, why not? You just you have yours and I have mine. Like, I like that it works like that. I wish that was. I wish that happened more often. Oh, I guess I should summon my Chocobo. Chocobo, we go to Apollo. Like, usually side quests don't have something where like Bayek is like, oh, I feel like this is summoning me essentially. He'll, like, sometimes mention things on side quests, like, oh, look at that. But, like, this was something where it feels like he really, really wants you to do it. And besides, an oracle calls out to you and, like, Bayek feels her power. Like, maybe she's not, I mean, in Odyssey, maybe it's kind of a spoiler for Odyssey for a second. But, uh, I think most of the oracles are being controlled by the Order. And have been for a while. So, was this oracle not under that sort of oh my what is going on and why are there so many tigers resting socializing why 
Wh and what is up? Okay, so the eagle. So Apollo. Apollo's uh, lover is killed by the king, and the king feels bad. And the Apollo makes her makes a lake here for the king because he felt bad. But the hair is Artemis or Athena. I get those two mixed up sometimes. I, but they're not. I don't, because they're not like, I don't think any of the Whoa. gods and goddesses besides like Hera and Zeus are super lovey dovey. What do you want me to do in this place? The Lake of Tears. <laughs> what was the next part? Do I dive? The sun god drove his fist into the mountain. I mean, I would think I would dive, but I don't think this is deep enough. It's not. And it's telling me to go over there. I'm gonna see if I can pull off this captain. Is there a freaking... Oh, hi. Let's see if I can't... Pick him up, please. Can I? I think in, yeah, in Odyssey, you can't climb these poles. They're specifically designed to keep you out. But there's a ladder over there. Oh, ho, and the, whoop, nice, nice. This area is off limits. Okay, uh, do I necessarily, I don't really necessarily want to kill everybody in here. Let me see if I can get a sneak attack off on this guy. I don't know if I actually can. I wasn't sure if it was gonna kill him or not. Nice. You have a crummy spear, guy. I'm sorry. Perfect. Okay. Let's see if we can't. Let's uh. Can I do the poison thing? I'm really intrigued. What the halo? Is it an armor? A helmet? I don't. Whoa! Oh, I thought that was of somebody speaking. It's just some rats. Okay, we're good. Okay, nobody should be in here. Besides, like, oh, hello. Huntress, Cyrene, and herself. I'm trying to do this. Okay. Oh, shoot. Hang on, though. I'll pay my respects. Before I pick that up. In the exquisite veil. Legend of Cyrene and yeah. Apollo. In the exquisite veils of Pindus, and Naya bore the honor of Hephaestus, a daughter of Gaia. And Hephaestus raised his fair child, Cyrene, as she grew into a young, mighty young woman. She did not care for pacing back and forth at her loom. Rather, she would arm herself with bronze javelins and a sword. So attired, she stalked the hills and killed wild beasts, giving peace to her father's livestock. I like her. I don't know much about Rome. I know more about Greek than I do about Roman. Oops. A centaur. Girl, lion killer. She sounds strong and brave. <laughs> Reminds me of. I'm gonna her. look up. I'm gonna look her up. That sounds really cool. Centaur laughed tenderly. Hidden are the rites of love, holy love, Phoebus. You came to this mountain to be her husband, and you will bear her over the sea to the choicest garden of Zeus. There you will place a circlet of gold upon her head and make her the ruler of a city in fair Libya. She will bear your child, honored among his people, and they will call him Aristeus. Having spoken, Charon, oh, the, the centaur, urged the god to fulfill the delightful consummation of his marriage to the fair huntress Cyrene. Uh, she probably didn't want to get married. And she was probably being forced to do it. Also, I think I just killed that lion that I poisoned the dead body next to, which was not my intention. But I just got credit for killing something. 
Apollo fell in love with her. Despise the Huntress. So did the god of the wide quiver, Apollo, find her. Grappling alone without spears, a dreadful and vicious line. In an instant, he called his guide, the centaur, Sharon, and spake, Look at that spear, uh, the spear and the prodigious strength of this woman. With a fearless heart, she bests the beast. Her mind is not shaken with the cold wind of fear. Is it lawful for me to cut the honey-sweet grass of her bed? Okay, so... It, it, it went in and I went out of order. Um, but yeah, no, Apollo is not one to, like, fall in love. He just, like, is one to rape. That's where Apollo does, so. That's why there's that story of that girl who ran away and got turned into a tree because she wanted so badly to not be with Apollo and have him rape her, so. Got a necklace, and now I'm getting another necklace. Let's see. A crown. This must be the halo from the prophecy. I thank Apollo for this sacred gift. A quest item? For what? What do I do with it? I don't know what to do with it, but I've got it! Oh, shoot. They know something's wrong. I left that one- I don't know how long the poison lasts. If the poison lasts a long time, that's kind of my goal. But I, maybe it doesn't last a long time. There's a treasure in there I could get. Oh, they're, they're picking up the bodies! Like, somebody said that they actually... Somebody did say, when I mentioned I was like, I don't know if they pick up the dead bodies. They do pick up the dead bodies and move them. How interesting. I actually thought he was facing a different direction a little more, but, you know, it's okay. I basically walked right up on him. I'm glad I can just assassinate these guys. Maybe I'll leave one guy left alive to pick up the bodies. Look at him putting the body over there. Let's see, do I need. Yes. I did! Wait, no, I didn't. This is. Just, well, that's just a, something else they brought in. I kind of want to let these lions out because I kind of need their skins if I want to upgrade my armor. Is he going to find that other body that I put out there or is he just walking around? They, why do they have so many lions? Homeless woman hunt Oh, it's a hunting camp. But why would you... Like, unless it was just for sport. Like, they captured these lions for, like, the Colosseum, I guess? Still. Maybe I'll let them all out. Ow! He hit me through the thing! Wow, I lit, I lit the whole thing on fire. I was gonna let you out, lion. Oh, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Okay. This weapon is dangerous. I will let you out, and uh, I guess kill you all. I would like to upgrade. This guy doesn't have any idea. Oh crap! Wrong thing! Wrong thing! Wrong thing! I'm getting five pelts from them. That's one of the reasons I'm doing this. Uh, gear. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, I don't need from them. No, I mean, I kind of do. If I wanted to further upgrade a bunch of things. But I thought I needed more for sure, but I don't. So I'll use the rest of them, I guess. I need crocodile pelts. Oh, well. Oh, da -da -da -da. Wow, four? Oh, that's right. They were all pretty bad. I'm kind of keeping them because I want to maybe sell them and see if I can upgrade. I think I can upgrade my shield. Also, my bow. There's a couple bows that I still have that I would like to up At least that one legendary bow would be nice. I don't know if there's any other legendary bows that I'm very interested in. How many of them? 40 out of 58. That's pretty good. And then 
we got this for whatever reason. The Oracle Kiranaka gave Bayek a prophecy from the god of light Apollo. None shall seek you, none but the eagle. He will soar above the five cities with the halo of hundreds in his beak. His reward was this relic of the legendary crown of Cyrene. I don't even know what it does. Is it, am I supposed to give it back to her? I don't know. Oh, but now I don't have anything selected. Uh, final weighing. We're getting there. I think now... Yeah. Now it's just a... Wait, what? Did I already... What? Did I... And I, like, ran all the way... Oh, did I... What? No, I have actually... I have actually no idea. Oh, was that... That was... This is where the... Okay. Yes, I did run in the opposite direction after getting the quest from Apollo's Oracle. Okay. I was like, what? Homer's effect. The Iliad penetrated Cleopatra's world like no other. It was the most well-known work of fiction at the time. Due to the pyramids, the Giza Plateau became a city of the dead. Tombs were built everywhere, as well as smaller something or other. Yeah, not everybody, n n your average everyday person didn't get a tomb. You got, you got put in a necropolis. That is a really cool view. And I'm afraid I'll have to leave you with that cool view as it is because the episode got a little bit too long, so I cut it into two more manageable parts. But I hope you guys are enjoying this next part. We will behead into that city and on to our final goal, question mark. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.